Hi everybody, welcome back to this very special episode of our Dungeon Boss Face-Off series. I've been getting a lot of requests for various heroes that you want to see face off against each other, but it has been a long time coming since we ultimately look at uh, possibly the bottom of the barrel. So we're going to take a look at our all-star edition of the Face-Off series. Today's stars are the amazing Bushido Takume, and also our good friend... Mr. Balog, wherever he is. So first things first with these two heroes, uh, I do need to point out that because they are different colors, it is a little bit more difficult to compare them. I do have some, uh, I guess, techniques to kind of determine which one's going to be better in the particular categories based on the runes. But rather than looking at the base stats, we almost have to kind of look at the end game if we were to max out what the best possible runes, where do these guys actually fall. And so that's what I use to kind of determine where these guys will will, um, will be different and how much uh, better or worse one is than the other. So here we go. Without further ado, we want to take a look at uh, which of these two is better. We will start off with Balog here since we are on him. His base stats, he is a tank and a warrior. His base attack is 1882. Not horrible, but uh, as far as uh, an attacker goes, as far as a warrior goes, they are pretty low. I mean, technically speaking, he is a tank. He is going to have a little bit lower attack. That's not surprising that it's low. It's certainly nowhere near the 2000 range that we see with uh, some of the other better heroes. Compare that value to Takume. Actually, my guys are fairly close together. I can get them on the same screen for once. Takume. Base attack is 1935. As far as the base attack goes, once you start getting close to that 2000 range, that's actually not terrible. Um, the only downside is he's a water hero, and water heroes are notoriously difficult to really stack attack, which uh, kind of ruins that attack stat in the first place. Defense on Takume is 1924, which is about average uh, for a, a tanky type hero. That's not too bad. Uh, so overall pretty good. And uh, by the way, Takume is uh, armored as well. Balog, on the other hand, as far as a tank goes, 1700 is not very good. I believe when I looked at my uh, tank analysis, this was actually very close to the bottom in terms of uh, overall defense. Uh, if you're going to be a tank, you'd think you'd have to have a pretty good defense to stay alive. So after the first uh, two skills, Balog is better in um, either of them, actually. Um, sorry, Takume is better in both of them, both attack and defense. Skill-wise, 1300 is uh, honestly one of the lowest single maxed out stats I've ever seen. Uh, 1300 is, is very, very, very low, which means he is not very skillful at all. Um, so do not try to stack skill with uh, Balog here. Takume, his base skill, which would likely impact his ability to freeze and chill, is 1600. Pretty much run of the mill there, and maybe even a little bit better than average. Uh, I compare to somebody else, like um, I just have some notes laying around here. For example, Nitpick um, has a base of, of 1500, and Ice Pick had a, um, one from 1800. So, as far as skill goes, he's right in the middle of, of two different uh, types of heroes. Max health, uh, 4833, certainly nothing great there. He is armored, so obviously he takes less damage, so max health isn't as critical if you start stacking uh, damage reduction and such like that. Balog, his max health is 6472, likely because he is a tank, uh, so he does get a little bit more, but uh, his defense was... Um, lower so he's gonna need more health to start with and he's also not armored so we're not going to I take that back he is armored I guess I never realized that he doesn't look very much armored when you look at him um, but uh, as far as uh, skill and health goes uh, Takume is um, better in skill worse in health so that means uh, in the first uh, core four stats, as I call them, Takume is hands down better in all aspects. So um, if you're ever wondering which of these guys is worse, uh, I generally consider both of these guys in my top three or top five in terms of worst heroes. Uh, it looks pretty clear at this point here that Takume is better than Balog. So if we're looking for an overall worst, Balog is, uh, is sort of a front runner. 
but uh, let's take a look at some of their abilities once and um, and then we'll get to some of the additional metrics here in terms of uh, how we can really truly compare these guys so their base attack uh, nothing normal here it's basically 50% of their normal attack stat so because um, Takumi's was higher, he's going to do higher base damage. We'll get to the runes a little bit later in terms of how that's going to play a part here. But uh, base stats, Takumi is uh, uh, a front runner. Thunder Shout, it does 1128. It is an AoE damage, uh, just to keep that in mind. That uh, 1128 is, uh, I didn't run the percentage of it, but uh, it's a little bit more than half of what uh, base attack is. Takumi's is not an AoE attack per se. His uh, Frost Katana hits um, three times. So it could hit the same person three times. It could hit them once and then two others. It could hit one person and, uh, once and then another person twice. There's really no way to tell what it actually is going to be. Um, but his particular attack here, if we look at it, 958, 968 for all intents and purposes each of these uh wax is one of his uh, basic attacks total output damage of 1.5 times his normal uh, attack damage not terrible as far as the skill goes it would be better if it's against one individual um hero or person um but it's certainly um better than what uh i i, I shouldn't say it's better than balog balog does an aoe so that value does hit all of them so the total damage output may be a little bit uh, higher in the long run the next skill, uh, Bitter Strike here, does 1064. 1064 is close to about 50%, a little bit more than 50% of what uh, his base attack is. The only difference here is it's got a chance to freeze. That's the probably why it's a little bit lower. It's meant to have an extra proc on it. Balog, on the other hand, does not have a second ability for attack. His second one is a taunt. We can't really compare the two. He's a tank, Takumi's not. We can't really uh, consider the taunt very much. Bull Rush though. Um, Bull Rush was actually a very potent skill. I remember using this in one of the boss mode dungeons where I was forced to use Balog, and it actually hits very hard. If you look at the overall damage for this, uh, 2541, uh, that is basically, um, it, it's not twice his attack, but it's, um, it's uh, getting up there in terms of, uh, um, it's more than a regular one, that's for sure. Um, but it does only, um, I believe it only hits one person. It doesn't actually say that. That's interesting that it doesn't say uh, one person or AoE, but I believe this is a, a single person attack. But uh, 2541, uh, pretty good uh, uh, final attack there. And then Bushido, his is a Guardian Strike, does 1300 damage, which is less than uh, a full powered attack based on his attack stat. It is uh, roughly... Um, maybe 75% of what his uh, base attack is. Uh, again, this one here doesn't uh, really rely too much on the damage. It's mostly for this uh, proc here to buff the team defense. So in terms of total damage output, um, we're not gonna consider it uh, too much. But uh, as far as overall damage output, I didn't run the numbers like I did some of the other ones in terms of if all three of these followed a PvP rotation. I didn't feel like that was really necessary. I wanted to get more into the runes uh, to start with. But in terms of total damage output, we are looking, if we consider the first one with an AoE, it is roughly 4,500 plus the 2,500 for, um, we're on Baylog, for example, I forgot to switch back. But it's going to be roughly 4,000 for his first attack if it hits all four enemies. And then 25 for his, um, sorry, his um, final one. So 4,500 plus 2,500 is, uh, let's see, 45, 5,000, 7,000 total damage. Whereas Takume, his first one is going to do close to 1,000 damage per hit. There are three hits. This first one here does three hits at roughly a thousand per, and then each of his second ones are a thousand, and then um, a thousand again. So three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, roughly between forty-five hundred and fifty-five hundred. So in terms of total damage output, assuming you're going against a team of four, Balog technically does put out more damage. He doesn't have a higher attack. Um, but he will put out more damage based on his overall abilities. That actually transitions us into the actual rune loadout.
When we look at the runes, we want to compare these two in terms of uh, attack and defense. Those are the two prevailing stats right now in terms of um, how we're going to compare one person versus another. Takume's rune loadout is um, uh, littered heavily with defensive ones. Uh, with the water runes and the light runes, those accommodate uh, some serious deficiencies in terms of attack. So if we're looking at the attack stats, uh, we're going to be seriously limited in those three runes in that blue runes and yellow runes, generally, unless you have one of the really, really OP legacy runes, generally the best you can get at this point is around 300 additional attack. Whereas with somebody like Balog, Balog only has one of those blue runes and he has none of the yellow ones. The um, purple runes, the red ones, and the green ones all have the ability to stack a double attack and uh, you can basically get up to about 900 additional attack. So when we're looking at total additional attack that each of these guys can get, when we add up all of the runes for Balog, assuming 900 for the good ones and 300 for the blue one, we're looking at an addi additional 3900 attack versus the same mechanic with Takume, we're only looking at about 2,700 attack. Now, if you've ever crunched the numbers on how much attack affects things, um, or at least tried to, we're looking at a pretty sizable increase here. It's uh, um, basically, Balog is almost 50% higher than what Takume is in total damage. Um, so with the attack power, definitely uh, Balog is going to win this one. So then when we look at defense, it's basically the same way. Defensively, we have a little bit less capability in terms of what th what's the maximum amount of defense that we can stack on one of these guys. I did not look at damage reduction because that's kind of a, a fickle beast right now, but uh, I looked at the total defense. Purple is different than if we were looking at uh, some of the other ones because purple does have a bulwark rune, but uh, red and green do not. So in terms of bulwark, you can stack about 800 extra defense, and you can do that on both the purple runes and the blue runes. Additional defense on the red and green is roughly 300. And so the total extra, um, extra defense that you can add to Baylog is going to be roughly 3,000 defense. When we compare that to Takume, he's got uh, two blues and a yellow. Um, Believe it or not, um, I guess red one doesn't, we talked about the red before, but red does not have a bulwark, but um, blue, yellow, and purple all have bulwarks, so if we stack those with uh, Takumi, we're going to get 800 each, and then roughly 300 for the red one, if we find a, a defense one there, which would likely be like one of those duelist runes. We can stack roughly 3,500 defense. So the disparity between these two in terms of attack and defense, you can stack much more attack with Balog, but you can only stack marginally more defense with Takume. They're both armored, so they both take the same reduced damage. And then um, in terms of comparing these, we're looking at, uh, I guess, two really different types of heroes. I guess, personally, I would probably want to go defensive on both of these. There's no way that uh, Takume or Balog are going to live up to any of the types of attacks that we see with any of the big hitters like uh, Koros or Kozar or Shade or anybody that does a ton of damage. So in my opinion, the best option to compare these two is likely going to be defensive and do a combination of uh, damage reduction and um, defense. In which case, um, Takume is marginally better than Balog, but uh, he does have the base stats to, to back it up as well. If we are going to go with attack based, I have to, uh, I'm pretty much forced to give it to Balog. He has drastically more attack capabilities than Takume. So when we ultimately compare these two and we want to know which one is best, I think it's going to come down to what your um, choice is in terms of how you're going to use them. If you want to use them for attacks, I believe Balog is better. If you're going to use them for defense, then I believe Takume is better. So that I know that kind of leaves us uh, a little bit ambiguous in terms of which one is better or worse. And so I'm going to leave that up to you guys in the comments in terms of which one is actually better. If you thought that I maybe misinterpreted some of the stats or there are some runes that I overlooked where maybe we can stack more attack on Takumi than I thought or maybe we can uh, stack more defense on Balog than I thought, these are things that I would uh, like to know. But I did uh, look pretty thoroughly through all the different types of PvP runes to see what sort of uh, additional stats we can get. 
So with that said, I'm just going off of the base stats and assuming that I'm going to put these guys on a PvP defense because I wouldn't really use them for much else. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say, just for uh, arbitrarily saying so, I'm going to say that uh, Takume is the better of these two. Which means that if we're looking for an overall worst hero, uh, again, Balog is a front runner in that category. So if you do have somebody that you think is worse than Balog, uh, kind of looking at you, Alexander. But uh, if you have someone that's worse, uh, definitely uh, put them up for a nomination. We can uh, certainly compare some stuff. Um, other than that, uh, let me know who else you'd like to see compared. I'm uh, compiling a list of ones that other people have mentioned in the comments, so I am getting around to those. So please uh, keep on submitting those, and uh, I will uh, get to them as soon as I can. Other than that, uh, I do thank you again for watching, and we will see you again next time. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. If you like this video, please show your continued support by hitting that like button. And be sure to check out both my YouTube channels for new content all the time. And always remember, peace is a lie. There's only passion. We'll see you next time.